What I wanted to do was to, I suppose, give you some of the uh, things that no one ever told me before I got Invisalign. Uh, so these are some of the not so glamorous things. So, you know, I'm a complete advocate for um, Invisalign. I would tell anyone thinking about getting braces to definitely consider Invisalign first before they get those ugly things on their teeth. Um, but at the same time, there's always cons, right? So, um, and I'm all about honesty. I'll tell you anything you want to know. Um, so here we go. Let me get straight into it. So most of the stuff, um, that I was not a fan of happened prior to actually getting my aligners. So my um, dentist is amazing. Um, they're based in Melbourne, uh, they're called Freedom Dental. Um, and I'm not giving them a plug by the way, I'm just, if you need someone and you're based in Melbourne, go to Freedom Dental, they're so bloody good. Um, but anyway, I had to get um, like this scan done and like you essentially like clamp like that, your teeth around this like probe thing and like this machine goes around your head and like gets like a full 3D um, image of your teeth and your jaw. Um, so that was the first one and then I did a really similar one and they were both like, it was probably ended up being like $500 worth of scans and that was outside of the Invisalign cost. So it is an added cost but I think you'd probably still have to get the same thing done if you got braces. Um, so that was the first thing. A second thing I had to get done prior to getting my lovely aligners on um, was they did have this like machine that went around and like touched every single tooth and I think it just gives them like a good understanding of like the tooth and it and, like because the aligners are actually created for your teeth so it's got to be exact and it gave them like an exact reading of like how long the tooth was how wide it was etc etc so when it took like probably maybe like an hour and they had to like go all the way around my teeth and then underneath and then like um, on the back of them. So far out. That took forever and that was awful because I just had to like have my mouth open like, ow. I just like split my lip. <laughs> so you can imagine me doing that for like an hour. It sucked. Um, but it's all for a good cause and I'm, as I said, I'm sure if you're getting braces, you're probably going to have to do something similar anyway. So... I sucked it up. I did it. Um, and then the third thing that I did not enjoy. Um, so all up, I have. Hang on. One second. So sexy. Every time I do that, like it is just. I never get it. I've never mastered it. It's still just as gross as the first time. So all up. <coughs> You often hear me call them nodules. They're totally not nodules, but that's my favorite word. Those little things. I had to get them put on like pretty much all my teeth. So I've got one, two, three, four. So my bloody partner just interrupted me with a phone call, the a-hole. So as I was saying, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Nine. Nine on the top and then I've got probably just the exact same amount on the bottom of those little nudgely things. Yep. Super sexy. Um, so I had to get those put on my teeth. So that's essentially, as I've kind of said in the past, when you get a, um, a filling, it's that stuff that they put in your tooth, but it's just on the top of your teeth. Um, and they don't smooth it over like they would with a filling. Like, you know how sometimes when you get a filling and then, or if you're a lot better than I am, you might not get feelings, you might not know this, but um, it's like the stuff that they normally smooth out, um, and if you touch your tongue on it and they go, oh, is it smooth enough, and you go, no, 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 and they've got to polish it a little bit more, um, that's that stuff, but it's not like polished, so it's a bit rough. So that's put on top of your teeth, and that process takes forever. Um, that was similar to kind of time frame, so probably about like an hour. 
um, that took. So that was a little bit longer than one would like, but we do it for a good cause. Um, and the other thing is, uh, but it would be the same if you get braces, if not more if you get braces, you've got to go in every eight weeks to your dentist um, and they just say, just want to check your progress. Um, so that you get, that's when you get your next um, eight weeks worth of aligners is at that point. So what they do is I'll just, takes maybe 15 minutes each appointment, so it's good. Um, I actually just pop in before I go to work and uh, they will give me my next eight weeks worth of aligners, so that's four packs. <coughs> excuse me um, and they just put them on and they just check that you know you're not getting like that everything's going well um, I think too if you're one of those people that don't put them on for 22 hours a day they just want to make sure that you, your progress is tracking the way it should be because otherwise they might have to like give you extra aligners um, to help you get there so um, that's another downside but at the same time there's a plus to it because you, if, you're, if your progress isn't going the way it should be, then you want to get onto it sooner rather than later. Um, uh, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, double, is it double negative? Is that a thing? Is that what people call it? But yeah, positive slash negative, but it is what it is. You'd have to get go into a dentist and get your braces straight, like tightened anyway, um, if you were to go down the braces track. So, in conclusion... There are negatives, but I think that they're pretty darn good considering. Um, and they're all things that, are, to be honest, based on what I know, you'd have to get something similar done anyway if you were going to get braces. Um, oh, the other thing, I nearly forgot. So when I first got them, um, so when I first got my first aligner, this bad boy, um, I put them on and I could not stop, stop gagging. I think it's like they um they sit at the back of your teeth as well. And every now and then, like when I put them in, I'm like, like I you can feel like that plasticky feeling on your teeth and at the back, and you feel like you're gonna vom. Um, so I was shocking. I for the first day, I just could not stop gagging. And um, my fiance was just like pissing himself the whole time. He's like, "What is wrong with you?" And I'm like. And I was like trying to drive and I just could not stop gagging. Um, but I got over that after a day. Um, and yeah, I'm all good now. But I think the other, you know, there's always going to be things that you're not a massive fan of. But the whole process in, in essence, like if you think about the pain that people go through when they get braces and how painful it is, um, it's not like that with Invisalign. As I've said in the past, because you get every a new set of aligners every two weeks, you have more um, changeovers than you would with braces. Whereas when you go and see a dentist every eight weeks to get your braces tightened, they've got to do a massive tighten so that you're right for the next eight weeks. Whereas this is every two weeks, so it's incremental, um, so less pain, uh, less discomfort, which is amazing. Um, and I know I'm supposed to be talking about the cons here, but I just feel like I should like defend the old Invisalign because I bloody love it. <laughs> um, so yeah, that is my, I suppose, list of the things that no one will tell you um, when they're doing all these Invisalign posts. Um, because, you know, sometimes we can get caught up on all the positives, but it is good to, you know, let everyone know about the negatives, even though there's only a little, little list. Um, but as always, guys, if you have more questions that you would like to ask me, Invisalign or not related, um, please ask away. I always want to uh, provide, I don't know, some more posts. Um, but I'll keep... Um, posting and videoing away uh, and thank you very much for the guys who have given me some feedback I love it um, more the merrier and um, yeah thank you and have a good day See you.